open your Bible in Genesis chapter 12, verse 2. Let's start in verse 1. Amen? Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. And make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. Amen? Thank you, Lord. This was the promise of God to Abraham. That was his name before God changed his name to Abraham. He promised to him to, to bless him. What is the promise to be blessed? For him to be a blessing. I bless you to be a blessing. Amen? See, and you shall be a blessing. See? This is the promise of God to Abraham to bless him to be a blessing. Amen? The, the purpose to be blessed is to be a blessing. Amen? The same promise that God gave to Abraham for us. God blessed us to be a blessing. They have to be set in our hearts and minds. When we are blessed, it's to be a blessing. Amen? We see in Acts chapter 20, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen? Because some people just like to receive. <laughs> they just want to receive. But you know, it's a joy and gift and to be a blessing of someone. It's joy. It's just to be a blessing unto others. It is a blessing. It's a joy. Amen? You know, to me it is. It's a joy to me when I can help someone. When I can bless someone. It's a joy. When we become a giver, we're showing the nature of a Heavenly Father in us. Remember, when we're born again, we receive the nature of our Father. And our Father is a giver. In John 3, 16, we see that the, the God so loved the world that He gave only begotten, so He gave. You see, God gave. Hallelujah. That we receive that nature, our Father, a nature of a giver. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because the covetous nature is from the old man. <laughs> And we've been delivered from that nature. When we born again, now we have the nature of our Father, a given nature. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4. You see, that's, you don't need to be manipulated to, to give. Okay, because you are the nature of your Father. You give because you. You take pleasure and be a blessing. Amen. And not only we be a blessing of finances, but we can bless others with different things with your gift and talent that you receive from God. You be a blessing. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4. Let's go together and read Ephesians chapter 4. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. Say, Let him who is tall still no longer. He's speaking to believers. Before, some of them. They used to steal. 
let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. You see? Amen? Hallelujah! The first motto for a believer to earn money is that he may have something to give. Amen? Hallelujah! With this in mind, the Christian is not simple word to make a living, but to be instrument of God through their work and giving. Amen? Instrument. Be a channel of blessing. Okay? A channel of blessing. You receive from God and you give. Amen? Hallelujah. And we see them um, in the beginning of the church, in the book of Acts, we see that the believers, they broke what they have to share with others. You see, they didn't bring to make one of the apostles rich. No, it was to give, to share with one another. Amen. The blessing that they have, the material things that they have, to give to other brothers and sisters they, have, they were in need. That's what our purpose. That was the purpose that they bring things. Okay? The purpose wasn't to give others to just yeah, hold down into it. Like we sit down in the church. Bring, bring. <laughs> but they don't bless. I bless you to be a blessing. That's the purpose. To be blessed. I bless you to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that all believers be so obedient to the Lord in this matter. To be a blessing. The God can go to you and say, I want you to do this for this person. And you do it. You don't have question. You go and I say, God, I say, the Lord speak to you. I'm not saying that, that someone manipulate you because some other prefer to be manipulated, See. to give. And that's what happened now. You have to be say, sensible to the voice of the Spirit. And when God want you to supply some need, you do it. Don't ask. God is not going to ask you. You don't have it. He's going to ask you. He asks you because you have the power to do it. You have the means to do it. Okay. God's not like those manipulators. They say they maximize your credit cards. <laughs> God will not do that to you. You got to speak to you because you have the means to do it. Maybe because he really blessed you to be a, a blessing. You see? Like I said, and now we, it's not only with finances, with your gifts and talents, you be a blessing. Because we receive all those things from God. And to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Remember that the purpose to be blessed is to be a blessing. Amen? Be obedient to God. That's why God bless you. Not to run around, I ble I'm blessed, I'm blessed, but you don't bless no one. You don't bless even God to bless you. Can you not obey? I bless you to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. The God don't love covetousness. The covetous person just want it half and half. God bless to be a blessing. We are, we are here and we have to be this conduit who God can use to be a blessing. Amen. 
Alleluia. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Let's go to 1 Timothy. Amen. Aleluya. Someone said, I don't have nothing to, to bless. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. But you get ready. And God bless you. You know what is the purpose to be a blessing. Amen. To be a blessing. God not going to ask you to give something you don't have. Okay. If someone come to you and say, God say to give something you don't have, you got to do something. Learn to give is not from God. <laughs> Because it's clear, I bless you to be a blessing. Amen. And remember, don't only think about material things, okay? Because always when we hear blessing, our mind goes to material things. That's the it's not the only way we can be blessed. We can be blessed with the spiritual gift. See. We receive a free, we give a free. <laughs> we don't, don't be like us, the, the chair for prophecy, <laughs> or for prayers. <laughs> Amen. First Timothy chapter 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. This, here, the Apostle Paul giving a, a direction to to Timothy, amen, and let's read 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7. Command those who are rich in this present age not to be haughty, prideful, nor to trust in a certain riches, but in the living God. Amen. Who we trust in God. Amen. Who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Okay? All things to enjoy. Do you see? If God gives you, you enjoy those things that God gives you. You enjoy it. But don't let those things get you or control you or be master over you. You know? Money is not supposed to be your master. Material things are supposed to be your master. You're supposed to enjoy it. Just enjoy it. You know those things to enjoy you. Enjoy. But remember, always the spirit for us to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Let them do good that they be rich in good works. Ready to give, willing to share. Amen. You see? After you enjoy it, with the things God gives to you, you have to do good. See? Let them do good. That they be rich in good works. Amen. Ready to give. You see? You have to be ready. You have the means. You have to be ready to give. Ready. Willing. That's what it is. Willing to give. Be generous. Ready to give. Willing to share. Are you willing? Are you willing to hear God and obey Him? Are you willing? Remember, God is not going to force you. Are you willing? Are you ready? You see? And because some they're not willing or ready to give, that's what they 
for um, or they be manipulated. They are just giving if somebody lied to them or manipulate them. That's that's the motivation they give only. But because they're not willing, they're not ready. You have to be willing. You have to be ready if you are being blessed by God. You have to be a, a blessing. But you have to be ready and willing. Remember, when we dealing with God, God don't force no one. Can God trust in you to be a blessing to others? Only you give when the preacher is asking for money and the offering. <laughs> or you ready to obey God to give when God speaking to your heart. And when God show you who you need to be a blessing. Are you willing? Are you willing to go to the place God you to go to be a blessing in that place? With the gift and talents you have. Or with the gift of the Spirit. Are you willing? Are you ready to be a blessing? You see? How to be a willing heart. Hallelujah. When the rich or the one who have give to the one who needs or give for the word of the kingdom is making good investment. That person making a good investment. When you give to the kingdom or to the needy or to the needy, you're making a good investment. And remember. Financial wealth or material abundance don't make you better than others. Don't be prideful. Don't say, oh, I work hard for my money. I work hard for my stuff. God gave you the ability. God gave you the health. God gave you the power to get wealth. That was that came from God. Don't be hurried. Don't be prideful. How many say, I work hard for my money? They forgot that God gave you the ability, that God gave you the, the power to get wealth. Are you willing? Are you ready to be the channel of blessing for God? Remember, it blessed you, it blessed you to be a blessing. Remember that. Embrace that in your heart. If that's the purpose to be blessed, to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.